following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. And let's see what we have here. Okay, that's, that's not done yet. I got something baking here on the machine. Uh, and as always, uh, you know, it doesn't matter. Where am I at here? It doesn't matter where you're at as long as you're here when the show starts. And, of course, uh, you can be anywhere. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. And, uh, well, what does uh, what seven minutes uh, a difference make? Uh, let's see just real quick here what the high of the day was in the S&P. Um, 43, uh, 47, I'm going to say. Oh, my God cake is done here over here as I'm brewing data. So let me get this other thing started here while I'm talking to you. Okay, now I can do that one. Uh, anyway, uh, so uh, we'll keep a, a look at it. But uh, I was hoping that we'd go off uh, if you we were bullish and test the lows uh, either yesterday or today before the Fed that we just shot right up. Uh, it tells you that probably... We've seen the high for the week, uh, but uh, options, at least up until the start of the show, have been rather bullish. We've talked about that for two weeks. Um, I kind of thought that they would push it up in front of the Fed, and then it really looked like maybe they were going to push it down in front of the Fed. Then we had this huge move off the lows. Um, but uh, again, it, started, it continues to act like a bear market where you have these sharp uh, fast retracements and not a lot of time to get in or out um, before the markets really start moving and your risk reward is uh, in the rearview mirror. Give me a uh, call at 877-927-6648 uh, and email me at path at tfnn.com. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I don't know. Um, I've had tremendous luck. They're in here bad-mouthing Microsoft. I've had tremendous luck with Windows 10 and Windows 11. But uh, eh, I'm programming on it, so maybe there's a difference. Maybe they're doing other kind of work, as they call them now, workloads. Anyway, um, we'll keep a close eye on the market here. If, uh, we've got uh, people talking well, we're now we're just up 23 points on the S&P cash. Could we get uh, another thrust up? I don't know. Uh, pretty, oh, now we got a second bunch out of the, uh, I don't know if you guys can hear that, a uh, second bunch out of the oven here. So let's see, do that. And then I can do this. And then I can email that during the break. Okay. But I can't do anything else. There it goes. Uh, until then. Uh, anyway, uh, just watching fairly sharply. But uh, again, uh, if you missed the announcement, really what they're saying is everybody's got seven in, uh, rate hikes uh, penciled in for the year. And that pretty much uh, did away with any of the bounce that we've had so far today. Um, unclear if a lot of people were leaking that there wouldn't be, that it would be back to four or something. Um, but certainly there was something going on. Uh, yesterday, as we closed the uh, uh, closed the day at about three o'clock, uh, we had word coming out that one of the Fed uh, appointees was not going to make it uh, and retracted uh, her uh, uh, her nomination. And a lot of people were thinking that uh, breathing a big sigh of relief because it would have been rather a poison pill for the market, the financials, the energies, just about everything. Um, as a Fed representative, you're supposed to keep interest rates low and uh, 
uh, other things uh, like um, employment high. I think that's the dual mandate idea of it. That was uh, she, she had a very different idea that it should be used as a club uh, for the way that some people think uh, the government should be run, but uh, very little to do with the actual uh, Fed and its actual mission statement. So a lot of people were happy with that. We got a little good news in China. I have to uh, give a tip of the hat uh, yesterday to one of the dinners out here who was uh, going long uh, to the Chinese stocks. Um, the one, first thing I always uh, thought of is uh, when you're uh, headed down uh, the advice of um, what's it, where should I come? No, no, no. It was Jesse Livermore. And that is if you ever come into a point where there's in, in, incredible um, depression uh, in the market, then it's probably a good time to cover. Um, you may see those later at another date, but you're probably in uh, the right time for a really good pop. I never really got to see what was going on. I did like the idea, though, as uh, as poor as everybody was talking about uh, uh, China this week, you almost always get some fairly nice a uh, pin action off that. And, of course, we I think we were talking in the den about just how many – People were talking whether or not stocks were investable at all if they were a China stocks. And generally, you get that kind of stuff just before you get a rip of 20 or 30 percent uh, in a day in stocks that have been that beaten up. Doesn't mean that uh, they aren't eventually going to zero. But uh, you know what? Uh, these rips in bear markets uh, are where you can make a absolute ton of money. And most people don't know it. But there's a guy I can't remember the quote either but he says you make most of your money in a bear market you just don't realize that at the time um, mostly because if you can buy a bear market low you make so much money but I do digress um, yeah <laughs> Uh, but that's it. I'll have to look at the you. Someone's in the den talking about whether we've seen their highs. I'm just thinking maybe we have. Uh, and the reason why is maybe they've been selling uh, calls all morning uh, and buying back puts and getting that. Again, these uh, numbers from options will track in and I'll run them after the show. But uh you know, they've been fairly good at showing 4,300 to 40, uh, well, yeah, 4,300, 4,400. And actually, 430 to 440 in the spies, which is actually where the options are written on them. So they've been fairly good, and you got a pretty good indication. You got your rip, um, but uh, we'll have to see. Now, if we go negative, it's not the first time that we'll have gone negative on a huge bounce on Fed Day, only to go down 50 points, only to close back up 50 points, depending on what they say. And of course, uh, man, we've got about 30 seconds left. We've got uh, uh, Powell, which I think is supposed to talk at 2.30. So we'll probably have a lot more sideways action till about 3.15. Then we'll see what's going on. Uh, General Ripper, I know uh, Major Minor, used to be my uh, neighbor, major one. Be back. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. As we return, we'll keep a close eye on the index stuff moving. Um, kind of quieted down a little bit. Uh, we're up about 17 points now on the S&P cash. Um, maybe I'll get a chance to run uh, the options here right before the show. Uh, everything's running a little slow. Everybody's got running a little fast, but kind of hard to walk by that um, that the consensus at least is uh, for seven rate hikes uh, this uh, year. What's uh, let me take a quick look at some of these other things moving here. Uh, okay, go, uh, gold down to nineteen hundred here as we break through there uh, yeah, in eighteen ninety eight. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Dollar index uh, ninety eight eighty nine. And just so I have everything right, that's gold, that's crude, crude back to 75, not, excuse me, 75, 95.42. So we're kind of back to the lows of the last few days, which is support. And uh, kind of where I was thinking that uh, we'll have to see what happens in the next hour or so. But uh, if I was looking for a low in those, those would be right around now um, or between now and the end of the day. We'll see how well they do. If you get some kind of buy signal out here, some sign of strength, uh, these things don't wipe out. But anyway, we are up to 99 bucks earlier in the day on crude. Uh, see whether or not we can hold here. But uh, it's going to be interesting. Going to be uh, probably a lot of uh, up and downs with Fed testimony. So we'll take a look at it. Uh, what else do we have going on here? Uh, did I have anything I wanted to do? Nah, I don't think so. Uh, things moving just too fast, so we'll start looking at some charts out here today instead of uh, news and everything else because it uh, probably just really doesn't matter. Uh, one of the things we were looking for was Microsoft. I said it had one of the best-looking uh, options position. It may still get there. It looked like a high possibility of 300. You got to 292.81 today. Volume, eh, not all that exciting, but we'll see how the day ends up. Apple was another one that looked better. Uh, it got to 
64 today. Some pretty good signals out here. At least a double gap at uh, 162.50 for these. So I think maybe the 165 is starting to uh, kind of uh, eh, get out of with two days to go kind of out of the way. But uh, that 162 double gap right there looks very interesting uh, for Apple. I would love to see this thing be at like 159.50 on Friday morning or something and then be able to buy the 160s for like a quarter or something and see whether or not we run into the weekend. Of course, we talked about this one earlier uh, in the weekend that uh, the production staff for the people that assemble the phones and stuff uh, is Foxconn and of course uh, they're closed for COVID issues. Un clear whether they open again on Monday, but I could see that kind of news pop the thing right back up if it is just a couple of days uh, error. Uh, no question uh, or no answers yet on Apple whether they're going to delay the rollout of these new phones. Um, to, to about here as we go through it. Uh, so those are two. Let's take a look at some other ones. Amazon was pushing harder earlier in the day. And again, volume, eh, interesting. Um, got, uh, let's call it 2.4 million shares so far today, but been more of a doji as you go back into 3,000, which is pretty stiff resistance on this in the, at the moment. But uh, yeah. You know, if you were following options, which not a big indicator on Amazon, any of these stocks that are, you know, two, three thousand dollars, options really don't have the same effect as they do on a one hundred dollar stock. Uh, for indications, let me put it that way: a lot of people buy way out of the money uh, options on these big, uh, expensive, or at least high dollar priced or priced in high dollars. Of course, it's going to uh, get a, what was it, 10 to 1, 20 to 1, whatever it is, giant stock split coming at you. Um, let's see, let's update this. Sure. Yeah, going to just fool around here. Probably still a slight bullish bias to this week from options, but uh, we have, we'll have to see. Okay, question about uh, p potential blow off tops. Uh, if you got my uh, newsletter this morning, uh, you would have known Amazon, or not Amazon, Advanced Micro had some of the highest short numbers yesterday of anything. Uh, so I figured those guys were easy targets to get blown out today, 115.36. You got a little bit of a kind of a tombstone doji going on here. I don't know if that's the end of that or if everybody just piled on short one more time out here. Uh, it'd be interesting to watch those numbers tonight. I don't get them in a day. But you now have a double gap right there at 110. So probably a good indication this thing is going to come back to 110. I don't know when. Maybe it's next week. Maybe it's tomorrow. But um, those double gaps get filled fairly quickly. Uh, okay, what else do we have? Questions on CCJ uh, from the first email. Um, coming back to support, got about 8 million shares out here. Um, you had a brief breakout, never really got above that $28 uh, with volume, which is now you're back into the trading range. But, uh, you know, this thing's had a big run. It started off at 10 bucks uh, at the start of this run. So it's going to take a while to consolidate out those moves before we start looking higher out here. So, eh, tough to see a, a great deal going on uh, in this over the next day or so. But, um, you know, with the China things going well uh, and China stocks doing well, or at least a big bounces today. What is it, uh, BABA? Have a request for BA. BA. Uh, let's go ahead and check that email. And if Steve Rhodes is... Uh, listening i sent you an email uh where does baba in the weekend i think right here at 100 bucks my guess is they're going to be able to wipe a bunch of people off as i said i love double gaps and one of the reasons that the art of timing the trade charts is written this way but you've got um you know you're right at that double gap line that goes back to 
to the 8th and the 9th uh, just a few days ago. So you've got into that. But uh, unless something really happens on the market, my guess is they're just going to hold it up here around 100 bucks. My guess also is that there are a ton of options, both puts and calls, that they can take to money heaven out here if it just holds up here for another day. And, of course, probably a lot of people bought in at the lows, uh, but that's uh, interesting nonetheless. Uh, so I'm thinking short term, 100 bucks. See you next week. When we get back, uh, see if China's unlikely to invade my one after seeing the impacts of Russia. You look at NVIDIA. I, I are NVIDIA. Uh, all right. fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the tiger's den trading room only at tfnn.com the tiger's den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As we return, um, yeah, let's get back to this email already. Uh, what do you think about going long on Baba or on? PDD, it seems to me China unlikely to invade Taiwan after seeing the world's reaction to the Russia Ukraine and how they're changing the position on Chinese tech stocks. Um, unless I saw some news that I didn't see, they're still not allowing anybody to see the books, which means that it'll be delisted in a year. So I'm not a big fan. I mean, playing the bounce is one thing, 
And again, I probably would have been using options on any of this stuff out here. But uh, I, I think if you've never been to China, the, the idea that they wouldn't invade Taiwan because what happened in Russia and Ukraine is probably a foreign idea to you. Uh, but they don't care about what happens the next couple of years. They talk about what happens in 50 and 100. And uh, there's a lot of discussion about the culture, about uh, one China and China's going to rule the world. And if you think uh, the, the, that uh, Nazis had an idea of the master race, um, there's a lot of that going on in China besides uh, all the other stuff associated with uh, things uh, in the uh, 30s. Uh, like uh, slavery and uh, forced work and, of course, uh, human uh, organ harvesting. Um, these aren't a lot of great guys. They don't think the way that you think or that I think. But I think I know the way that they think. And the idea is if we get all bogged down in the Ukraine, that they can walk in there and anything they can do. And they'll be more than glad to wait five years. To them, it's not anything. The people will complain a little bit. And of course, they'll be taken out and shot in a field if they complain too much. So it, it's, you know, it would be a lot different if they thought that was it. But they all have some kind of idea and brainwashed into the idea that uh, if they, uh, that it doesn't matter what happens the next year or two, that it's uh, it's China in a thousand years from now, and we've got to make it great. And we've got to do it now, and uh, eh, that's the way it is. They all have some kind of I, very strange idea, probably not very different than what they have in Russia now, uh, and that uh, he knew he was going to probably take a little flack. Probably didn't think he was going to get as much as he did. Um, but uh, the question now that I posed yesterday was, can you? Can you run them out of money and bleed them dry in a killing field uh, to the point that Russia has to go home with its tail between its legs, or at least Putin? And a lot of people standing up and saying that uh, they don't like it. One of the big-time heroes of the Soviet Union in Russia was uh, out either last night or this morning uh, saying that uh, he doesn't like it at all. and he's a, I think he was one of the biggest uh, generals of all time. There may be a lot of other stuff going on there. Literally everybody's corrupt. If you became a general, you're corrupt in Russia. So maybe he's got an idea that he could take over. You never know. Um, but uh, I think to judge China on the idea that they care what happens in the next couple of years, um, I mean, what do you got to figure a quarter of our senators and congressmen are at least uh, uh, compromised in some way or another uh, by China. So, yeah, maybe they have to all talk tough for a year or two. Uh, but how many of them are going to want to get some of that sweet, sweet, sweet China money in the future? So I'm not going to discount that as much as other folks are. It's probably a little less likely but not impossible for them to still invade uh, Taiwan. Um, doo -doo -doo, okay. Uh, okay, let me read this here. This up, uh, uh, okay. Uh, Yeah. Okay. So that's it. Uh, don't uh, get too far ahead of yourself on China. They do not think the way that we think. Although I think the next generation might. Just depends on how quickly we get there. It's kind of like Russia. We've already had theirs kind of take a look at it. Um, I can't remember. Did I look at NVIDIA? NVDA. Take a look at that real quick as we come back. To do, yes, I looked at it already. <laughs> uh, oh, the quad one, four guys. Okay, I get the idea. Okay, well, he came in with the same volume at 246.65. That was the February 28th high. You did go over it. Well, you didn't go over it. You went under it by a buck. 
and now you got a tombstone doji out here. Energy was actually fairly good on this way back up, but I don't see much happening here. Okay, now we're down six. Is that right? Yeah, six bucks on the S and P. Um, very interesting action today. Um, I'm going to say I went back through the details. One of the reasons why I wasn't long going into this is that any bounce um, you get 80% of the time, by the time the Fed comes out, it's evaporated. This is a little bit different in that the bounce evaporated after the Fed came out because generally you have a nice little bounce. It's uh, given up by 11 o'clock, and then everybody just sits around looking at each other till 2 o'clock. Uh, we do have uh, Chairman Powell talking at the moment, so we'll see. But, uh, yeah, 877-927-6648. Uh, uh, email me at path at tfnn.com. And if uh, we still have uh, uh, somebody listening out here, like Steve Rhodes, uh, I did send you something. Okay. Okay. And a question on UVXY. Uh, have we seen the high of the week? I suspect so. It'd be very tough, even if we start uh, heading uh, UVXY. Um, if we start heading up, we'd have to have we'd have to lose everything. We'd have to be back down to forty one fourteen, I think, to break twenty three now. There's a few reasons why, but. Most people don't understand how the VIX actually works, and it would take a great deal uh, to move it that far. So, no, I think we still probably, I'll look at the options, hopefully they're in the next break, but I still suspect that we're at 4,300 on the low end, maybe 4,350 or so, but uh, it will depend. We may be just be waiting for the uh, Fed to, to uh, quit yakking and move on, but uh, let's see what else we have out here. Uh, after the bell tonight, I did want to get this in because it is in earlier. Uh, by the way, oh, by the way, uh, volume is about 10 billion shares. So it's going to be a decent volume day, depending on what happens. Uh, there's Erling. After the bell tonight, we do have Lennar in housing. Of course, uh, not good news uh, pre-market on loans. Uh, we also have William Sonoma. I uh, don't think either one of these is going to move the bigger market that much. But uh, if I get some in action on this, William Sonoma, uh, kind of close back up to its high. So uh, that may be the interesting one after after hours. We'll be back in a minute. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. 
Sign up for Dave's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. have a uh, look at Coinbase Global for uh, Coda in the Den. Yeah, you have a nice uh, light volume retest of the previous low of February 24th. That's 155.92 with 8 million shares. Uh, got into that yesterday with uh, 4.2 million shares and uh, you pop back in it. Now, again, just because we've got lows doesn't mean we're going higher instantly. Uh, you could get a U bottom out here, but it does look good, and the risk reward is probably okay. You did spike it today. Uh, I'm told, although I don't spend a lot of time looking at these, that they're big into NFTs, and everybody I hear that was chanting all about uh, Bitcoin is now ch uh, chanting about NFTs and uh, the metaverse. And uh, yeah, they got to throw their money away on something. Now, the question is, how far can this run before uh, everybody figures out it's just another Bitcoin, Bit, uh, Bitcoin kind of thing? Um, could go for years. I don't know. This just seems a little, even a little bit more silly than Bitcoin uh, for the NFTs. But, uh, you know, Bitcoin ran for a long time. Uh, anyway, um, what you want to see this thing do is... Uh, close back above uh, either the nine day or three by three displaced moving average uh, to get a signal that it's on the move. Uh, you can sit on your hands and put a stop down below, but it would probably take something like that to get it going uh, much higher. And I don't see a lot of risk in it. You've got a decent low out here. It's just uh, the market's a little weirder than most people think, but you don't have that much higher to go to get a uh, close above uh, the nine day, 163.69. So that looks okay. Uh, <laughs> Bitcoin, that's what I always thought it was, but uh, I do not know. Okay, uh, back to kind of flat. Uh, options continue to be uh, at least a little bit bullish when I looked in during the break. Uh, we're up 29 points now on the S&P cash. And again, this is a lot more like indigestion. You know something's going on, but whatever it is, it's kind of painful at the moment. Uh, question uh, from uh, Ralph on uh, Tesla. Uh, see anything else? Um, now, I think this thing's just going to slowly meander back down to 600 bucks. Um, you're going to get some big bounces between there, but I just think you're setting up a move uh, back to about 600 bucks. But uh, we'll see. Uh, it's hard for uh, anybody to look at this and think that it doesn't go to 1,100 bucks if they're in the cult, and that's what matters. Uh, not what I believe, but what uh, the cult members in Tesla believe. It's a 40 or 60 dollar stock at 800 bucks today. 
So, you know, what can you say? Stocks can be uh, mispriced a lot longer uh, than I can talk about them being mispriced. Okay, what else do we have out here? Look at Tesla. Let's take a quick look at the SMHs as we're here. Um, yeah, you popped on this. You did so on fairly decent volume. It went right up to the mid part of the gap and filled that. Um, you are above uh, three by three. Again, I think probably by the end of the day, we're going to start seeing a few more bullish signs, at least for the next couple of days. Um, but we shall see. I don't see anything really bearish in that. Uh, question about taking a quick look at Micron. Of course, this is the one that everybody jumps on instantly when they think a bottom is in. The SMH is uh, volumes okay today, 25 million shares so far. That goes back into about 28 million shares back on March 9th. And what did you have? 28 million shares on March 8th. So about average volume so far. So I think you're okay on that. Uh, you did gap back above the nine day. It may do a little bit of uh, back and forth out here. But, uh, you know, as long as it stays above the nine day, I think you have to stick with it if you're long it already. Uh, question on Planeteer. Is it finally bottom? PLTR, right? It is. Okay. So what do we have here? Well, you're going to close above the nine day. Uh, we already talked about this one making a fairly decent low. So, yeah, um, not a bad looking thing. Uh, just how it depends on how much money you want off the low. I would say 1325 is where this thing's headed. And at that point, you've got a lot of volume to overcome from this big uh, thrust down on the 17th of February with 151 million shares. So, yeah, could you get up there slightly? If I got 1325 your head and my head and everybody's head would spin so fast in, in me selling it. But, uh, yeah, at least it's made some kind of low out here. Uh, seeing some more of these stocks in that vein trying to make some lows. Uh, okay, what do we have out here? Okay, quick look at GDXJ. GDXJ. As we look at gold at 913, um, probably you got your low in. I don't know how much there is to the upside now in gold, but I think that little pattern out there um, probably made it. So probably not a bad deal. Uh, you got a little doji out here. It's going to take some work uh, to get this thing going a bit. Uh, but, uh, yeah. I think uh, I think you're okay. Probably setting up for a retest of the fifty dollar and twenty nine cent high in the GDXJ. Uh, going back to the email circuit. Let me uh, get rid of this. Uh, come on. Okay. Uh, question about the XLF. Forget to hear. Um. Is this done at a uh, island bottom? Um, I don't know where you're talking about in the island bottom. Not really, no. You just had a low. You're back into the trading range. Um, pattern's not all that bad. Um, you know, you're going to have uh, seven interest rate hikes, they're telling you today. Uh, you're back into the trading range. Um, if you're long it, I think you stick with it. If you're not, if this thing could pull back to 37.50, I think that would be one of the, probably the financial on this sector, probably going to be the hot sector of the second half of this year. And, you know, we're pretty far along already in uh, into uh, March. So probably not that long, but generally uh, in these types of things you're probably talking about the real action and movement starting in may and going across the summer and into next fall for financials as long as they keep on running the interest rates higher eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight uh nine thirteen on gold last tick take the crew here real quick dollar index uh ninety eight uh seventy eight 
And food, what do we have? Food, uh, 74, excuse me, 94, 7. We'll be back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN. Also, a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. As we return, uh, we're getting and probably doesn't mean a lot until uh, Paolo's done talking, but we are at 4,300. Options continue to be and look uh, a little bit bullish out here. I don't know what seven interest rate hikes will do to bullish, uh, of course, uh, after the bell of the night, uh, Lennar, and that's probably going to tell us a lot about employment going forward. But uh, keep an eye on that. Uh, up 37 points. Let me update this real quick just to make sure. And up 43 points. Uh, crude's down a buck 50. Gold's, of course, been bouncing around the lows here. Uh, I'm going to leave you with this. I talked to uh, a friend last night that is very deep, deep, deep in the uh, carbon, carbon uh, uh, business for uh, fossil fuels. He told me a couple things, and he told me that this weekend too, and that is, if you're gonna buy uh, tires for your car, buy them today. If you're gonna need oil for your car, 
for an oil change this summer, buy it today. If you're going to need anything that's associated with fuel, buy it now. He says we're going to have a summer of those things being incredibly hard to get, especially if you have anything like airplanes or uh, motorcycles, all of that stuff. Apparently, the uh, guys that uh, that make most of this, when the fuel prices started to rise, backed way away and didn't order their stuff. Uh, they didn't want to get caught with a bunch of stuff that was going to be very expensive if the fuel prices came back, or at least crude prices came back down. I'm trying to remember what it was. There's a barrel of uh, oil in every tire or something. I can't remember what the thing was, but it's big. Uh, get it now. Anyway, I don't hear anything else on the other side. Should be hearing my music play on the way out. But uh, that's it. Appreciate it. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Same bat channel. Same bat time.